Hi everyone, here's the video. Uh, I'm just going to do a quick breakdown of this uh, forest path scene uh, that a few people asked for. So, uh, first of all, I'm just going to go over the settings quickly. So, I'm just using EV. All I've done is just turned on ambient occlusion, um, up my shadows, and then um, my volumetrics. I have up the tile size, the samples, uh, put on volumetric shadows. And the key thing here is I've set the uh, start point at 20 meters so what this is 20 meters away from the camera basically so if I just change this to one you'll just see it brings the volumetrics in to one meter away from the camera and everything looks a lot more um, fuzzy or, or washed out basically so th you know that might be the look you're going for but here I wanted a bit more contrast in the foreground and then um, have it a bit more faded at the top so the, your eyes sort of drawn down here and then and not so much at the top here um, and then for the the volumetrics themselves it, it's very I've just used the principal um, volume shader plugged into my world um, world output and it's just a tiny amount uh, I haven't changed any of this I might have changed the color down slightly um, but that's it for the volumetrics and then I have um, just got a, a normal um, well a gradient world shader set up here which uh, you can see how I did in the video before if you like um, so that's it for the um, the settings um, the scene itself if I just go into solid mode and just sort of go through the individual parts the light in is just one sun lamp that's it um, and by putting the trees where I have it's and using the you know the volumetrics it's created these nice sort of areas of shadow um, without needing to use more lights you may find especially in Eevee you, you do need to work a bit harder with lighting but this sort of just turned out quite nice to be honest um, and then the next part so I've got the characters here these are um, I modeled a while ago um, they're really quite basic um, there's not a lot of geometry going on with them and I've put a basic rig on them um, then we've got so th the floor itself is just is just a flat plane um, with uh, a grass particle system on it I've used the botanic um, add-on but this is you know it is just basically a normal um, particle system and I've used um, a bit of weight painting um, here just to sort of draw these these paths in basically um, then we've got this spire here that I made it's again very simple uh, a couple of little tricks I've done is I've duplicated some of these bigger shapes and added a, um, a bevel and a wireframe modifier to them just gives it a little bit of visual interest, a bit of sharpness, um, basically. Um, it's probably going to go slow now, but th as you can see, like using the volumetrics and things, things are quite, you know, it can be quite flat. So like just these sort of lines are just quite nice, just to sort of give it a little bit more shape and punch, basically. Um, and then the trees, they're all again, they're all done with this botanic add-on. Um, but you know any trees or whatever will work obviously um, so yeah that's it for like the um, the blend of bits I, the, the shaders and stuff on these I might go through in a separate video because they're quite um, they're quite messy and quite complicated to be honest uh, that's the one for the rust I really need to tidy it up but that's what's going on in the rust one so that that um, yeah a bit much for now um, uh, so yeah that's it for the blender sort of side of it really the you know I think the thing that's doing the heavy lifting in this is the is the shadows and the light basically uh, and the composition with, with these um, when I was talking earlier about the weight painting the reason I've done these is it just sort of draws you into the picture having these paths really helps you sort of come in and then look through the image so that was what I was kind of the intended view because we do tend to look at images starting on the left um, 
and again using the light and the shadow so having these highlights here and it being sort of in the the bottom third on sort of around this point her eyes are sort of drawn to these areas on the on an image so having some highlight here and then some contrast here and again a bit more highlight up here kind of can draw that was my intention anyway to draw you up here another little thing I've tried doing here is using this is trying to frame this guy so trying to frame his silhouette a little bit again just draws your attention to it you, you kind of like want to try and stop people looking away from the, the your image so having things framing things having these sort of areas of contrast and stuff can um, can really help with that um, and talking of composition I think one of the th the most important things here is getting your composition getting a rough composition right first off so thumbnail a couple of rough shapes just using cubes or whatever if you want any or primitive shapes and then once you're happy with it then you can start adding in these sort of trees in the background and and, and that sort of thing because otherwise you'll get bogged down in details and you won't go anywhere it, I, it happens all the time you know you start getting you know or you know maybe I need to change the color of these leaves or whatever it's just just get your composition in right first then you can start looking um, to all that sort of thing um, and talking of those tree placement you know these what I've done is you've got the one sort of in the back I implying that the forest is really dense that was what I was trying to do and then you can also do that by having these shadows so if I um if I sort of take this tree away all of a sudden this looks far more open you know this looks almost like um, it doesn't look like a secluded path in a way it looks it looks far more open but but having that shadow sort of there just sort of it, it, it sort of encloses you a little bit um, so th so those sort of things are really important and again like these sort of little bits down here I've just done just to try and bring you into the picture really um, and that's that's it really um, oh, I suppose I can talk uh, I didn't do much in the composite uh, I'll um I might do a, a video separately about this but I've been playing with these um, glare nodes rather than using um, oh it's not going to do anything because I haven't rendered anything today um, so using glare instead of the EV bloom and sort of mixing a, a really sharper um, one with smaller highlights with a one that sort of over everything it kind of creates a kind of nice sort of soft um, look to it just done a bit of uh, contrast um, oh and a bit of exposure back here this is just to try and make the dark areas darker and the, the light areas lighter basically and then barely touch the color correction barely I think I um, yeah I barely touched that so that's the breakdown really hopefully that was what you were after um, if there's any questions or anything else you can think of that you know I can help with or whatever just let me know in the comments and that would be good thanks a lot cheers bye